What is up, Kranix? In this video, I'll be giving a visual guide for this week's normal time trial, RC Bandito time trial, and the premium race totaling over $300,000. Remember, the time trials can only be completed once a week for the full $100,000 payout. The premium race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48 minute cooldown between each win. Also, keep in mind that rocket powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is Power Station. I highly recommend either the Hakuchu Drag, Shotaro, or a Batty 801 for this time trial. In terms of route, this time trial has a few shortcuts as you can see here. In general, this time trial is pretty easy, except for the ending portion where it gets a little tricky when going off-road. It may take you a couple tries, but if you do it properly, you will finish it in time. For this one, I will be using a fully upgraded Hakuchu Drag. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito time trial, which is Vespucci Beach. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. This RC time trial is a little tricky in some areas due to some of the bumps you have to go over. Before those bumpy areas, I recommend just letting go of the throttle until you've completed that area, and then get back on the throttle once you're going in a straight line again. And in some tight areas, just brake extra and take them slow. And lastly, when you use your brakes, make sure to press them in about halfway in, not all the way, or you might lose control of your bandito. And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is a sign of things to come. 
This one is restricted to the motorcycles class. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, Body 801, or an Akuma for this race. For those of you who've never done this race before, I highly recommend practicing the normal version of it first so you can familiarize yourself with it. There are some high speed sections and there are jumps where you can easily crash if you're not careful. That's why again, I recommend practicing it. For this race, I will be using a fully upgraded Hakachu Drag. <laughs> and that's it guys, the normal time trial this week is pretty difficult towards the end, so it will definitely take some practice. The RC time trial is pretty difficult if you've never done it before, but again just let off the throttle for some of the bumpy sections and you'll be fine. And this week's premium race will take some practice if you've never done it before. Pretty much all three of these are going to need some practice. These are definitely not time trials or races where you can just go how on your first try and be successful. Again, remember guys, you can earn over $300,000 between the three of us a week, and setting yourself a goal to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult and what vehicles you used down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.